school, I've had all kinds of experiences with it. Sometimes you get a great teacher who can make you excited about learning and can clearly explain the content to you. I had this one science teacher who let me hold her snake on the first day of school, and the girls who were sitting next to me were all freaking out. Oh my gosh, keep that snake away from me! What are you talking about? It's not hurting anybody. It's okay. That teacher was so good. She was strict yet nice. Also, she played the banjo at a professional level. But we aren't always so lucky to have teachers like that. Sometimes teachers are pretty bad. The worst teacher I ever had was my ninth grade science teacher. We'll call him Mr. Stupid Idiot. Literally, the only thing that ever happened in class was he would throw a packet at us, tell us the answers without explaining why the answers were the way they were, and then he would throw a quiz at us while he sat at his desk doing nothing. It was literally regurgitating information, followed by forgetting it all since it was so unexplained. One time, I was in class, and literally everybody was on their phone, since the teacher couldn't teach worth crap, as we all know. And since I was not learning anything, I pulled out my phone and texted my mom. And then, Bryson, give me your phone. I looked up at Mr. Stupid Idiot. You're kidding me, right? You do see how literally everyone else in here is on their phone, and you single me out? He just said, give me your phone again. I was so mad. Literally everyone else there was on their phone, but I guess since I'm a tiny little blonde kid, it made me an easy target because he was probably intimidated by the other kids. And I understand that I shouldn't have been on my phone in class, but I literally pulled it out for two seconds to text my mom, and the second my phone came out, he singled me out, even though everybody else was on their phone the entire period. In fact, my friend Dallin worked as a janitor after school there, and he was cleaning by the main office when he overheard a counselor yelling at that teacher. Why do I have so many people complaining to me about how they aren't learning anything in your class? Mr. Stupid Idiot said, I don't know why. I give them comprehensive study guides before tests. I have interactive class lectures with class participation, and I always ask, does anyone have any questions? Which are all things that he did not do. This not only proves that he was a liar, but it also proves that he knew how to actually teach, but was choosing not to. (laughs) Why does this happen to me? At the same school in 8th grade, I took a ceramics class. Ceramics is working with clay and stuff, and that teacher was so nice. We'll call her Miss Ceramics Teacher. She would have lessons on how to work with clay and prevent it from cracking or how to combine two pieces of clay together without it falling apart. It was so interesting and fun, and I learned so much. So, in ninth grade, I decided to take her class again. However, the class was only one semester, and I had her class in second semester. So, I grinded through a semester of school until, finally, I could make cool stuff out of clay again. I had been hearing from my friend who had her in first semester talk about all the great projects they got to do, So I was so excited to get to work with Clay again. I walked into class, sat down, and waited with anticipation. Then a substitute I had never seen before came walking in and started taking role. I raised my hand. Um, where's Mrs. Ceramics, teacher? Oh yeah, she had a stroke. What? The week before I got into ceramics, the teacher had had a stroke and wouldn't be back for the rest of the semester. End my suffering. Also, don't worry, she is fine. She just couldn't teach that semester. So basically, that class was just substitute after substitute, and they all knew nothing about Clay, and couldn't teach at all. But they saved the worst one for last. His name was Mr. Salazar. Just like Salazar Slytherin from the Harry Potter books. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, he always had this blank expression on his face. No emotion. And one day he came into class with a laptop, looked at Mrs. Ceramics Teacher's heavily decorated desk, and thought, Oh, I'll just shove my laptop on here to make room. So like an idiot, he just shoved his laptop into all her ceramics pieces. Mrs. Ceramics Teacher's favorite vase teetered and then shattered into a million pieces. Dude, that was her favorite vase! Nothing. She worked so hard on that, what were you thinking? Nothing. Dude! And then he just started teaching a lesson and didn't even acknowledge what he had just destroyed. 
What the heck even are you? So that class basically sucked. But I can't blame all of my classroom shenanigans on the teacher. This next one was on me. Just recently in my AP US history class, I was laying on my desk like this while taking notes on the lecture the teacher was giving. But I started to fall asleep. I would blink and it was like two minutes later. Okay class, now when Christopher Columbus discovered America, the Declaration of Independence declared that the Civil War had begun, and Hitler promised not to invade any more territories, but he lied, and Martin Luther King Jr. was super rat. then Donald Trump was elected president. And that's what you need to know for the test. Bryson, can you please summarize the lecture we just had? Uh, can you repeat the question? Now, my handwriting is already barely legible, but I looked at the notes I took while falling asleep, and it was literally chicken scratch. Here, look. This part doesn't even follow the lines. As you can see, my superpower of falling asleep really fast is both a blessing and a curse. So, yeah. Part two? Hey there, it's been a while. Sorry this took a long time to make, but believe it or not, I do actually have other things to do other than animation. Like school. But I am sorry this took forever. Also, I wanted to remind you all of some things. Please remember to not subscribe, and please don't tell your friends about the channel. And whatever you do, do not follow me on Twitter, at Haminations, link in the description. And please do not send me any fan art, because it totally never makes my day or anything. But in all seriousness, I'm totally blown away at all the support for the channel so far, and I'm excited to see how far it goes in the future. In the future? What's wrong with me?